Question 15. Here is a scale drawing of a rectangular garden A, B, C, D. One centimetre represents one metre. That's a nice easy scale to use. Jane wants to plant a tree in the garden at least five metres from point C, nearer to AB than AD, and less than three metres from DC. On the diagram, shade the region where Jane can plant the tree. So there are three elements of construction here that we're going to have to use. The first one says we must be five, at least five metres from point C. So if we're wanting to find all the points which are five metres from C, we're going to use five centimetres to represent that. We want all the possible values which could be five centimetres away. And that creates a circle. To do that, we're going to use a compass. So if we measure the radius of our circle to be 5 centimetres, anywhere along the radius of the circle will be 5 metres away. You put the point of your compass on the point we're trying to measure from, and then draw your construction arc. So on this circle, everywhere on that line is 5 metres away. And because of that, we know that we have to be at least 5 metres away, which means that we cannot use anything inside that circle. That's a no-go area. So what about the next rule? It must be closer to AB than AD. Well, AB and AD both meet at this angle. So if we're wanting to find something that's closer to one line than the other, we need to know where the halfway point is. That halfway point will show us which half is closer to each line. And again, for this, we need to use our compass. So, if we use the pair of compasses here, this one's quite a tricky construction, but a very useful one to try and learn. We're going to bisect this angle. First step is to draw an arc of any size that crosses both the lines of our angle. From there, we move the point to where it cr the arc crosses the line. I'm going to draw a couple more arcs. Now this is going to make it a little bit bigger to make sure that the lines cross and you'll see why once we move to the second point. So once again the point is meeting where the first arc crossed the line and then we draw an arc so that it crosses our second arc. Now this point here where the two circles or arcs meet is the same distance between each of these points and each of these is the same distance there. So what we've essentially done is constructed a rhombus. A rhombus is perfectly symmetrical and therefore allows us to construct this angle, bisect it. The angle is cut completely in half. So we draw a line that goes straight through and by cutting these angles, that angle in half we can see that we've got this section. One section is going to be always closer to AD. This section is always going to be closer to AB. And we don't want it closer to AD. So this part under the blue line cannot be used. Now the third and final rule says we must be less than 3 metres from DC. So this line DC at the bottom, to find 3 metres, that's going to be 3 centimetres on our diagram. We're just going to use a ruler. The ruler works perfectly well on this one. We're going to measure up three centimetres, draw a couple of marks at three centimetres, and then if we draw a straight line across that joins up those two points, that line is going to be representing 3 metres away from DC. And it has to be less than 3 metres, so anything above that line is no go. And that leaves us with this very clear area in the middle that can be used. So we have to make sure it says shade the region where she can plant the tree. So we have to make sure that this is the part that we are colouring in. Using a pencil is fine, just making sure that we are indicating that that is the space that can be used. 
we've met all of our rules. This shaded area is outside the 5 meter barrier from C, it is inside 3 meters from DC, and it is closer to AB than AD. If you do make a mistake going over the line there, just rub it out and carefully correct your mistakes to show that's your answer. Accuracy is important in a question like this, so keep your measurements as tight as you can. Make sure that you are using a sharp pencil.